OK, I'm just going to show you a little feature that's tucked away in Photos Develop Persona called Exposure Bias. Now, if we take this image I shot, it's very dark. It was a difficult dynamic range to try and tackle. So I added a 0.7 EV exposure compensation. And if we look across on the EXIF panel, we'll see here it's reflected in the metadata. Now, Photo doesn't apply this by default. But if we find our way to the Develop Assistant here, we'll see we've got an Exposure Bias option. And we have two different ways of applying it. There's Default and Initial State. Now, Default will apply the Exposure Compensation in the background. So this Exposure slider here will still report zero when we open the RAW file. However, if we set Exposure Bias as the Initial State, I'll just cancel the development of this raw file and then reopen it. We'll see now the image is slightly brighter and also the develop assistant is telling us it's applied the exposure compensation. And sure enough, there we go, the exposure slider is now set to 0.7. So this is a little time-saving technique if you tend to use exposure compensation a lot in your photography. For example, if you find that your camera's metering tends to overexpose or underexpose images. I have another example here where the camera I use tends to underexpose slightly. So what I've done with this image is, again, I've added a plus 0.7 EV compensation. So now that Photo has applied that exposure compensation, we'll see the image is a bit bright, but this is because I know that I can pull back the highlight detail, and we can even lower the exposure slightly if we need to. But because I know with this camera I can overexpose slightly without clipping the highlight detail, this has allowed me to capture more precision in the darker tones, and therefore a less noisy image. So there we go. I just wanted to quickly point out the exposure bias option on the develop assistant here, just so you know it's there if you need it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.